everyone welcome back to crafting at whimsy wonderland my name is stacy i am here to make another fun summer sign craft for you i am making new decorations to hang up above my cupboards in my kitchen i have a vaulted ceiling and a lot of space to fill so what i'm starting with is two of these signs from the dollar tree they're just single flip flops and i was scraping the glitter off and when i realized that this second one the paper was peeling up and so I'm attempting to just peel the paper off so I don't have any of that glitter to have to deal with and it's coming up pretty easy but I am having to do it in pieces so once you commit to tearing this off you got to do the whole thing so uh, otherwise you'll have a really hard time blending it I do want to make this a two-sided sign so that um, I'm using an idea that I saw on one of my chat groups I'm on the Creative on the Cheap uh, Facebook group, and there's a gal over there, Jessica Hammond. We have a lot of the same tastes in de decor, and I love what she did with this sign. So I'm going to paint one side patriotic so that it is good for Memorial Day or all the way through um, Fourth of July. And then I'm going to do the other side just as a fun summer themed side sign so that it will be so that this can be used all summer long. After 4th of July, I kind of get tired of all the red, white, and blue things, and I want something a little more easy breezy summer. So that's, that's my plan. So I'm going to finish peeling this one off, and then I'm going to do the same thing to the other sandal, and I think this will just be a lot easier in the long run. Okay, I'm going to go do this off camera because you don't need to watch me do it. Alright, now that I have all of the paper peeled off of my flip-flops, I'm going to begin painting them. And you're going to have to use the front side of one and the back side of, others, of the other so that you have a right and a left. Otherwise, you have two left shoes and two right shoes and that would be uncomfortable. <laughs> So make sure you have one facing the right and one facing the left. For my base coat, I'm going to coat them both out using white. It's actually not white. It's actually Waverly's plaster colored chalk paint. Um, I'm out of white and I've been to Walmart three times and they have not had any more in. So I'm going to use plaster. It is mostly white. It's just kind of a creamy white. I am going to go ahead and just paint out the entire flip-flop on both of them. I'm just going to make sure all of my brush strokes go in the same direction so I have a nicer looking finished product. I'm going to let this completely dry because that's what you have to do is chalk paint is let it completely dry before you try to do anything else to it. So I'm going to let it dry and come back and put a second coat on it. The paint has dried on my two flip flops and I'm making sure I've got a left and a right. On the left I'm going to put some star stickers on it and paint the whole thing out in blue. Now you would think with everybody putting out their 4th of July stuff that you could find some star shaped stickers at the Dollar Tree. I couldn't. I had to get one of these wall decals in order to get some star stickers. Even Hobby Lobby opened back up and didn't have any. So I'm just going to peel off these stickers. I'm touching them to my pant leg so that they don't, um, I'm sorry, so that they don't stick too badly. I want them to be able to come off. And I'm just, they're all different sizes. That was just, this is all I could find. I went to four stores and I decided that was all I was willing to do was four stores. That's all the stars that are on there. So that's all the stars it's going to get. I'm going to set this one aside for a few minutes. And I do not have any blue chalk paint, which surprised me. Um, and when I went to Walmart, they didn't have any either. <laughs> so our Walmart's been pretty picked over in the 
blue paint department or in the paint department chalk paint for quite some time so this is apple barrel admiral blue it's not the exact color of blue I was hoping for but I think it's gonna look nice when I if I can get this to cover with just one coat that way the white will kind of come through a little bit Got a trash can handy and I'm just going to quickly peel up these stars Here's my blue flip-flop. Really not happy with how the stars bled. I would avoid using the wall art stickers. All right, let's see if we can have a little better luck with the other shoe. This one's going to get red and white striped. I'm going to use washi tape for it. Um, I just have a boatload of washi tape right now. But washi tape is super sticky, so I am going to put it down on my pant leg and then cover this is and then stick it down this is going to be done similarly to how I do the um, buffalo check painting you have to use a spacer piece okay so this one's going to stay down and this first one is going to be my spacer I'm going to use Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Crimson, and I'm just going to paint the stripes. I'm going to peel the strips of tape off right away. There's my red and white stripe flip flop. And there's my blue star flip flop and together they will make a really cute sign once they have time to dry. Paint has dried on these little flip flops. What I'm going to do is just sand away and distress this. Here's my plaster paint again with a small brush and I'm just going to touch up the really bad spots where it ran along the edges just because I want my stars to actually look like stars I think once these are distressed after they dry they, it'll blend in and be okay I'm going to put this one over out of the way I'm going to fold my sandpaper the other direction because I don't want blue on my red in fact I'm going to tear this in half that's how much I don't want blue on my red <laughs> For the Mod Podge side, all I'm going to do is flip these over, make sure I've got a right and a left, and I chose a paper that is non-directional because these are just a hair bigger than 12 by 12, okay? So I wanted a paper that I didn't have to try to get on straight, that I could pull or uh, twist around and move any which direction. This paper came from a pad from Michaels called mint to be okay it's full of all sorts of mint green colors with uh daisies and lemons and buffalo check okay so i'm just tearing off the little binding strip that's on the paper and because i know that these are not going to cover 100 percent i have this is from a one of the pages that was like a border and what i did is i fussy cut 
out the daisies and they're going to go along the bottom of the sandal uh, to cover up what's left. Both of these flip flops are going to get decoupaged the exact same way and if I line it up just right I can get it in there. It's just really close. put Mod Podge on both the paper and the piece I'm gluing it to because once you put them together that glue on both sides gives you a few, little bit of extra time to move it around and get it positioned correctly. As I have this traced off I'm going to go ahead and lay my piece on top of my paper. Usually I go the other direction with it and put the paper down on top of the piece. All right, and then I'm going to use my brayer, which I got at Michael's. It's part of the Martha Stewart collection. I'm just going to roll the whole surface, making sure I get out all of the bubbles that I can. Now I just need to set this aside to dry, and then we can move on with the next steps. All right, now that the Mod Podge has dried, I'm going to take my scissors and just cut around the edge. I'm not trying to cut it perfectly off. I'm just getting the big chunks, getting them out of the way. Little piece of sandpaper, 100 grit. I prefer 60 or 80, but I'm out of that right now. I just pick up the sandpaper at the Dollar Tree. I just fold it in four. So you can also get the sanding blocks from the Dollar Tree. Those work too. You can also use a nail file, but on a project this big, you'll go through a couple of nail files. You'll wear them out. So what I'm going to do is just sand the edges of my piece, and that's going to take off the extra paper. Make sure that when you're sanding, you're going from the paper side down, not up. If you go up, it will pull your paper away. You can also go side to side. That will work fine, too. Got the edges all sanded off. And now I want to put some daisies down at the bottom of my flip-flops. And I'm going to cut it off here just so I have an idea of where the Mod Podge needs to go. And then the same on this side. I am going to put Mod Podge over the entire surface. So, uh, but first I'm going to start with just this bottom part. Making sure I get all the edges down really well and Mod Podge over the top of that. Now because this is going to be two-sided, I don't think I'm going to put words on it like welcome or anything like that. So if these are my two flip-flops, I'm going to go ahead and Mod Podge the rest of the flip-flop. The side to dry, and then I will also Mod Podge the other side, the red, white, and blue side. Okay, I'll be back for the next step once the Mod Podge has had time to dry. Okay, let's finish up this flip-flop sign. You are going to need four pieces of some kind of trim to make the band that goes across your foot. I used jute that I braided and they need to be 12 inches long. 
Okay. So you can use nautical rope. I tried to use nautical rope, but I thought it made the knot way too big. So I didn't really like that. Okay, so what you're gonna do, I am using Gorilla Glue glue, and you're going to take and glue down your knot onto this little bulgy part here, because that's where it would attach. And then let that set for a few seconds. Let that glue get hard. Go ahead and glue the other one. And then you're going to, um, you know, imagine your own flip-flop. And I'm going to figure that it would be just to the side of where that center hole is that the um, hanger goes in. And I'm going to put a little glob of glue there. And I'm going to go ahead and let it curl up a little bit like a flip-flop. And you're going to have to hold that, okay? Hold it so that it's got some slack coming up here. Because, you know, flip-flops don't lay flat. Okay, once you get that in there, then... Oops, I scooted it on accident. Then, go ahead and do the other side as well. Try to get them similar, similarly placed. Keep a little slack in there. Let it sit up a little bit. Okay. And then I have some white daisies. Picked these up at the Dollar Tree. Uh, they were part of their patriotic. They were red, white, and blue. And boom. Cute little daisy right in the middle. Oh, I'm trimming off the back just a little bit. Cute little daisy right in the middle. Okay. There's the two flip flops for the patriotic side. Remember, we made this sign two-sided, so we're going to have to make sure you got your right and your left, <laughs> and go ahead and glue on, just like we did on the other side. Alright, there's my daisy side of the flip-flops. we have to do is glue them together. So what I'm thinking is to overlap them maybe like that. But remember we got to check it on the other side as well to make sure it looks good and I think it does. Okay so what I'm going to do is take this knot and it's going to bump right up against that one. And then I'm going to overlap them just enough to where it's covering that little hole that forms right there. Okay. So we're going to need a little glue here. And I'm just, these are Gorilla Glue sticks. So they're pretty, pretty sturdy. checking the other side to make sure it's still on board doing what I want it to do and I'm just gonna hold them and sandwich them together till that glue till the warmth of the glue kind of dissipates a bit and I know that they're ready to go all right now it needs a hanger it's about 14 inches long I'm gonna give it about 15 inches long so I have room to tie a knot and then part of me kind of wants to put beads on it 
<laughs> so what I'm going to do is I am going to thread this from the decoupage side and it needs a little piece of tape around it to keep the string from or the twine from raveling, unraveling I should say and I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot I'm going to tie two knots together actually just to make sure that it's strong enough to go without coming undone I'm going to feed on the beads that's 20 beads I am going to stop there I don't like it being like that taking off three Let's see how we got in here I don't I don't like the beads overlapping the sign. I like it to be up above the sign. So that's 17. I just need to trim off this frayed out tail. That knot. And I probably could have done with one less bead. All right, there you have it. My double-sided Dollar Tree DIY flip-flop sign. This side is good for Memorial Day through 4th of July. And then after 4th of July, I like to change up things a little bit. And then I have my summer daisies flip-flops on the other side. So it can be whichever way you would like for it to be. All right. Let me know what you're thinking of this project in the comment section below. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know if you might go and find two flip-flop signs at the Dollar Tree and do this for yourself. I just love it. I can't wait to hang it up. Anyway, um, let me know what you're thinking about it. This has been Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.